Okay, Slasher Holics, welcome to Slasher Librarian Presents Retro Horror Gaming Episode 2. Uh, we're going to be playing a game that terrified me as a child. Uh, the game is a little bit scary, especially back in the days when there was no real horror games out there, and I was like seven or eight. Uh, the cover art scared me so much whenever I'd see it sitting on the shelf at a video rental store. Uh, you can see that cover art, uh, Google search, or just look at the thumbnail for this video. Um, but it always intrigued me, and I would rent it even though I know it would terrify me and give me nightmares, but I played it a little bit, never got too far. Um, but I want to beat it with you guys now. There are no Game Genie codes, so I'm going to be playing it by memory, and maybe a few tips I pull up on the internet or something if I get stuck. Uh, but it's basically a point-and-click adventure game um, that was transferred to Nintendo. It was part of a trilogy. You had Deja Vu, Shadowgate, and this one. I'll probably do Shadowgate uh, here on the Retro Horror Gaming uh, series. Maybe Deja Vu if you guys like Uninvited and Shadowgate. Um, Deja Vu is more, more of a detective point and click. Uninvited and Shadowgate are the more creepy ones. Shadowgate's like a medieval Dungeons and Dragons type scary adventure. And the Uninvited is like a haunted mansion. Uh, this villain named Draco, or Drago, I'll have to look it up uh, as we're playing, uh, kidnaps your sister, and you have to go save her by finding items in this house and figuring out how to use them to defeat spirits and solve puzzles and get out of traps. Uh, so without further ado, let's start The Uninvited. Uh, it came out in 1991 for the Nintendo, 1986 for uh, computers like the Apple II and whatnot. Uh, here we go, we're going to press start and get, like I said, there's no Game Genie code, so I'm going to be playing this from memory, and maybe a few tips, so if I have to stop here and there, it's just looking that up. Uh, but we're going to see uh, if we can figure out what to do. There's a ton of items in this game that don't do anything. Um, and just for fun, once we defeat the game, uh, probably in part three of the episode, or at the end of this, if you're watching the uh, version that has all the parts put together into one full episode, um, we'll go through and see what happens if you don't do things right. Get to see the death scenes and uh, what happens if you use the wrong items in the wrong spots. Uh, but yeah, let's start it off. We're going to uh, start up waking up in a car that's on fire, dazed and confused. Start with file one. Look out! The last thing you remember before blacking out was your mom buying you this shitty game instead of Mario Brothers 3. I mean shadowy figure appearing in the road in front of you. It definitely wasn't a deer. You heard your sister cry out as you swerved the car into this tree. She cried out, You stupid asshole! Told you to let me drive! You realize that you are alone. Your sister must have gone for help. Or she just had enough of your shitty driving. The smell of gasoline fills the air. You enjoy it a little... I mean, you must have punctured the tank. You pry yourself free of the steering wheel. Wait, 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 were you like twist of you pretzeled in there? Intent on finding your sister and asking her where the hell she ran off to. Alright guys, uh, we're going to want to open the door. So we're going to do that right now. The car door opens with some effort and a little elbow grease. Now we just need to get out. Um, if I were to stay in here too long, the car would burst into flame, or if I tried something else. So we're going to go. We're just going to do this the right way. We'll have some fun with it after we beat the game. And here we are. We're at the Haunted Manor. An explosion erupts behind you. It wasn't your car, coincidentally. Oh, okay. It was your car. It burst into flames. Or was it an explosion with no flamage? At least it will save you the cost of a... Well, that's looking on the bright side, saving the cost of a tow. You find yourself standing in front of an old mansion. It gives you the creeps. Alright. Uh, if I remember right, we need to open the mailbox here to find a pendant. Open the mail... I, I said open the mailbox, yes. Alright, now we got to open this envelope. Oh my goodness. I forgot it repeats everything. <laughs> There's a letter. We're going to examine this letter. This note reads, Dear Master, please forgive me. 
My health prevents me from aiding you in your battle, but I was still able to write this letter, lick the envelope, and mail it to you in hopes that you would find it at this exact moment. Against the evil Dracon, you teach your students. Well, they become too powerful for their own good. Enclosed is an amulet that should look familiar. Wear this charm and think of me. And I really hope that some stranger who just had a car accident doesn't find this before you. The undead will surely fear it. Still, the evil, my friend, set it free for the sake of the family. Fare thee well. I must return home to the 15th century. Alright, so we're going to take the pendant. It's a pendant with a large jewel set in it. Uh, I guess we got to use it. That's what it is. Okay. You can't use what you didn't take. Oh. Oh, okay. Snarky. Alright, so we'll take it. Take the pendant. Ooh, you pick up the pendant and it begins to sparkle. Then the door of the mansion opens and dares you to enter. So it dares us to enter. Double dog dares us. Triple dog dares us. And we're going to, uh, let's see. Could your sister be in there? Hmm, I don't know. Did she open the mailbox? Open the letter? Get the pen Take the pendant? Use the pendant? Get dared by the house? Walk in? And then somehow the pendant got put back in the letter, untaken from her, it's sealed up again. I don't know. Maybe, but yeah, let, let's just assume she might be in there. Because it makes so much sense. Click here. I'm trying to click with my mouse over here. Alright, here we go. And we're going to move in. Ah. As you enter the door, as you enter, the door slams shut behind you. This foyer is a large and luxurious, yeah, it looks so large and luxurious. Looks like cowboy fans decorated it. Still, it seems strangely oppressive. Okay. Hmm. You enter the room and see a fireplace and some chairs. Take a close look at the chairs and you may see some flaws in the seat. Okay. The couch looks soft. You feel something hard sewn into it. <laughs> Uh-oh, is it the lady of the house's hidden toys? It won't open. Can I hit it? Alright, let's try examining the, the chairs then. The chair looks like it's worth a bundle of wood. The chair looks like it's worth a bundle. Oh my goodness. Alright. So, let's see here. We need to leave the room. We need to find the library, if I remember right. I think that's the actual hallway, so we don't want to go there. We'll go here. Nope, this is the hallway crap. You feel like something is waiting to get you. Yeah, let's uh let's go back where we came from here. Oh no, which door we came out of? Was it this one? Oh no. Oh we died already, we went the wrong way. up guys we're gonna die and have to redo this yeah you've got new attention of the bitch standing in the hallway she turns to face you her face is devoid of any flesh or character you are frozen with horror as she begins ripping you apart she laughs hysterically as your body slumps to the ground and says oh by the way I'm your sister game over 
my quest. This was a quest. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, this time we're gonna go this way. There we go. We made it to the library. Alright, let's see. And what do we got on that table? Hey, a library that's designed for research. That's a first. Kids watching this are like, oh, what's a library, Mr. Slasher Librarian? Oh, wait, is that why... Is that why you're called the librarian? Because, like, libraries? Okay, we opened the magic book. Now we're going to examine the magic book. The Madge book. Apparently, even though I had all that space, they felt the need to abbreviate it. Magic is not good nor bad. <laughs> if it is used properly, good may result from it. If it is not used properly, terrible things can happen. What follows are a few magical spells. From nothing it shall form, and none shall see thee. Cladisi. Awake to a sleep, movement to still, six legs or more, bend to your will. Still any. If it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, let it mellow. Papoopy. With more than one, the storm to come to make them run. Thundeed. Bless me, bless me from the bottom of my heart. If the burp had come out the other end, it would have been a fart. From here to there, when stone walls impair, tell a maze. Tell a maze, tell a thon, tell a friend. You memorize the magical words. Ah, Magboat disappeared. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna leave here for now. And now we have to go back where the ghost lady was. We gotta be careful though. We're not gonna try to open any doors right now. Oh, we're upstairs. This house looks huge, but this hallway is pretty damn tiny. The floor creaks under your weight because you haven't been taking care of yourself, have you, Joshua? There's more rooms here. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, let's go to the master's bedroom. For, I think it's this one. Can't go through a door till you open it. Yeah, tell that to Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. All right, let's uh, let's go in and see what's up. Oh my God. This must be the master bedroom. There is a stale smell about this room, like he peed in the jug because he's too lazy to go to the bathroom at night. All right, let's see here. Uh, something about Dracon here. I can't remember what it was. Mm, let's see. It's a small black diary. It's a little black book. Open the diary. Yes. This diary reads, I have lost control of Dracon. My star student now fancies himself a master. Though his power is strong, his spirit is weak. He is easily corrupted by the dark spirits of greed and power. I know these are strange things to write in my diary, but I thought somebody on a quest might find them useful. My servant, more aware than I, sealed his star in my hingeless box. Oh, is that what they're calling it nowadays? They're locked away beyond his stare. His Care Bear stare. I've hidden the key. A chair knows where. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, that sounds like something he needed to put in his diary there. Let's take some stuff for the for the heck of it. Let's see. We take the candle. Oh my god, I took the candle. Took the bottle. Can I take this? You can't take it. What, can I take the bed? 
I guess we're not going to take it. No, we're not going to take it anymore. He said the chair knows where, so let's see. It's an old wheelchair. <laughs> oh, it sure is. It won't open. It's locked. It won't open. It's locked, damn it. Alright, let's go in here. The hell has he got hanging on the... Is that like a dead bunny or a Native American? What is that? African Art Deco? Okay, Deco. Alright, let's take some... Let's take some stuff. I want some stuff. Let's, I want another bottle. There's a lot of bottles. What about that mask? Y'all want the mask? Okay, we're taking the mask. What about the... What, what is this? Take the doll. We got the doll. Take the towel. Can I take the mirror? Can't take it. That's not for sale. You let out a startled scream at the sight of your own reflection. Like you said before, you haven't been taking care of yourself. Good God, never I look awful? You wouldn't want to be caught dead looking like... This game is fucking rude. Maybe I need to take a bath. Here, let's use the bath. Maybe that'll make me not look so horrible. Nothing happens. <laughs> nothing. Nothing happens. You don't even get wet. Wow, that was a skin of a zebra. That was one fucked up zebra. I bet it looked in that mirror and it said it looked bad. Alright, let's leave. Let's go back to the room. Uh, let's see. We gotta open everything here. Don't ask me why this game scared me so much as a kid. Hey, I want that singing fish on the wall. Anybody else want it? Take me down to the water. It's a giant stuffed fish that sings. Well, that seems important to the plot. We'll have to come back to that later. What about the poop stain on the wall? Is that important? You see nothing unusual except for a poop stain in the shape of a duck. Alright, let's open this one and see what's going on here. It seems to be an ordinary bedroom. You feel very, very weak. Pressure begins to bear down on you. The day-to-day -day stress has just been too much for you. Your credit card payments are piling up, and you just lost your job, but you're too afraid to tell... Oh, sorry. Uh, we better do this quick, whatever we're going to do. My star is gone, but not lost. Master Servant will pay for his betrayal. <laughs> the vehicle of my power has not yet served its purpose. When it sets me free, I will have a chance to realize my unlimited potential. Wait, why am I writing a diary like the Master does? This is weird. The forces of the technological society will be unprepared for the likes of me. I will not be denied. My victory is inevitable. Freedom! Alright, so we're gonna take that in case we need it. We'll steal the rest of his stuff, too. Can't take the smoke detector. What's over here? It's a large mirror. You don't look as bad in this one. You notice that there is no toilet. This guy has no dick or ass. Dickless here. Alright, let's take some more crap. Want some soap?
nothing happened. I guess the water bill didn't get paid. Water. Oh, it did. It did. It did. Old and chipped. Can we open the hamper, guys? What do you think? Okay. We got another towel. You goddamn right. You can never have too many. Alright, let's get out of here and get back to the actual game. I don't know why you have to tell me that every time. This looks like we might be able to open this by the bed. Yeah. Oh, there's a scroll. Better take it first. called a scroll oh there it was there it was I missed it okay it's a rolled up scroll sealed of course it is sealed with wax are you are you kidding me Tried to use it on the bed, apparently. The scroll reads, Doll, doll, wilt thou lead the lost? You memorize the mag the mag words. Uh, we better get out of this room before we die. Ah! <laughs> scroll one disappeared. And real monsters. Ah. Alright, let's get out of there. Now, let's check out the guest bedroom now. Alright. So, there's something in one of these rooms I'm definitely not supposed to pick up and take, but we're going to do it anyways. I think we get possessed by the house if we take it. Let's find out. Let's see here. You turn on the radio hoping to hear some tunes, but it doesn't work. Right, we're going to open the drawers here. Open the burrow. Hey, there's a ruby. If we take this, it's game over, by the way, but let's do it. Screw it. Alright, let's see here. Examine the bed. Little support. I do have a bad back, so I need any little bit will help. Oh, I didn't get no rest. Use it on the dresser. Nothing happens. What about if I just examine the ruby? It's a large blood red ruby. You feel some sort of strange power running through it. Okay, I guess we didn't get possessed. I don't know. Alright, let's get out of there. You are on the second floor hallway. Well, thank you for reminding me that again. Alright, let's open this one. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to go up in this room. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, staircase that takes you to a prison if you're not careful. But we do need the axe. We do need the axe.
Can I hit it? No, I can't turn the light off, really? That is an old, that's an old lamp, folks. If you didn't know what lamps looked like in the olden days, it looked like a light bulb hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> okay. We don't want to die. If we go up the stairs, we're going to die. Um, so we're not going to do that yet. And we'll come back and do all the fun stuff at the all the death stuff at the end. Uh, we need to find the closet now. I think this is it. And we need to grab some things. Um... Yes, closet. You're not supposed. To, you're only supposed to take a few things. Uh oh, what's happening to you? The evil air that pervades the estate seems to have invaded your very being. Your head and chest feel heavy and thick. We better uh, leave the ruby behind. I think it's the ruby doing that too. We don't want that to happen. I guess we're just screwed then. All right, all we really need uh, is a spray and the no ghost. But I like to just jack everything, and you never know when you might need a mop, right? And yes, there's some no ghost in here. There's a soapbox, an ashtray, spray. We do need the spray. Is that the no ghost? Yep, that's the no ghost. Hat box. Stole sample box. Air freshener, the Febreze. Popcorn bowl. I wonder if they call this a lamp, too. A lamp hangs down from the ceiling. Oh my god, okay. Alright, let, let, let's get out of here. So now we're going to go back to the first floor hallway since we have the no ghost. And uh, see how this, see how things play out now. Let's see here. Let's try opening a door and get our southern bell back. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. See what happens if we use the wrong door. What? You feel a force taking over your mind. You know that it is not your own. You begin to feel almost at home here among the undead. No! You say out loud, shaking your head. I will find my sister. Alright, so we're going to use the... Uh, we're supposed to use the no ghost, but I want to see what happens if we use the pesticide on her. She's going to kill us, but it could be fun. <laughs> so we died again. We'll get back to it. Hold on. All right, let's try. We got to go back downstairs. All right, we'll have more fun like that later. But right now, we need to just move on with the game. So we're going to open and that stuff again. Yeah, my sister. All right, so we're gonna use the no ghost on her, guys. Uh-oh. I gotta open the bottle because I'm a dipshit. So here we go again. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do it right this time. We're gonna try to move. You know, now that we have that axe, maybe we can go back and maybe cut that chair open that had something sewn into it. I wanna try that. I'm not sure if that's part of the game. Or if I'm supposed to do that, but it's it's something that just popped in my head, so I'm, I'm going to see. But first, let's take care of Scarlet O'Hara here. Scarlet O'Scara. She was the bane of my existence as a kid because she kept killing me because back then there was no internet to pull up walkthroughs. You had to depend on Nintendo Power, and that's if they covered, you know, little games like this one, obscure games, which I don't think they did. 
I would have had no idea to open the no-ghost. It would have been a lot of trial and error. So we're going to open the no-ghost. Okay. Then we're going to use the no-ghost. <gasps> I'm melting! 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 You pour the foul-smelling liquid, which the bottle looked like a douche bottle. Just saying liquid on the bell. She lets out a horrifying scream as she begins to melt away. What if that was your sister? Good lord. Alright, so now we're gonna open the foyer and see if we can use that axe. I'm just curious if we can. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Go back to the foyer. The door is open. I get... Oh, I got... That gets annoying, I tell you. Oh, this isn't it. Where was the foyer at? I can't... Was it over here? Okay, there we go. So let's... I just want to see if we can use the axe or not. That's just something I'm curious about. No, I don't want to use myself. What would I like to use it on? A bunch of camp counselors. Uh, here we go. Wait, don't do it. So I can't use the axe on it? Why? Wait, don't do it. Who the hell's talking to me? Okay, then. Alright, so I guess that idea is moot. So we're going to go back out in the hallway here. No, we're not. We're going to go in the library because I'm an idiot. Back out in the hallway. Let's see. Um, let's go to the parlor. Which I think was this one. It's the Oh, it's the game room. That's right. Hello! That monster is getting after it. He's, he just got his cameo on the real Ghostbusters cartoon. You now have to question the reliability of your eyes. You think you see a somewhat cute, abstract creature with a key in its hands prance by. Okay. Let's find the parlor, people. Let's find the parlor. I can't believe this game scared me as a kid. What the hell? This parlor has lost little of its original charm. How would I fucking know that? Uh, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. So, I'm going to hit this chair because I just don't like or Yeah, I don't like chairs. Nothing happens, of course. Uh, there's nothing really to see in here, so let's go out here. Wait, wait a second. What do they call this? You see nothing unusual. <laughs> Alright, let's go outside. From here, you have a splendid view of a desert? Of the desolate estate. A large black spider quickly runs by you along the railing. Ah! Alright. Huh. Let's see here. We had some spray, right? I wonder if that's bug spray. I bet I gotta open it first, right? It won't open. I guess I don't. I guess I just use it. A wide aerosol stream sprays from the spider cider can. It leaves the railing sticky. Okay, so I guess that was... Maybe the spider just keeps moving if you keep coming back. It's like a, hello, how are you doing, Nick? Oh, what the hell did you do to my home? 
the spider becomes paralyzed as it comes into contact with the spider cider. Hmm. You know what? I think we're gonna take that spider with us because, you know, we're just fucking crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go back to the hallway. Now, if I remember, we need to go to the dining room. Which must be here. Yes, okay. Uh, let's take some... You could throw a terrific birthday bash in this room. Yeah, because that's what's on your mind right now. Saving your sister and... And throw in a birthday bash. Uh, what do we got here? Take the bouquet. That was a bouquet. What do you call this? The finely cut crystals dangling around the light. Throw tiny rainbows about the room. So festive. Such a good place for a birthday bash. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to open this from all the way over here. Oof, where are we at? This room is really cold. Where in the world could the awful chill be coming from? Could it be the window that's open or the air conditioning? What do we got? We got some drawers it looks like. Hey, there's something in there. Let's take it. Because that's what we do. We just steal all the shit from this house. You know what? Let's... What's over here? Oh, nothing. Okay, that's nice. Oh my god, can it not just, can it open and go through just be the same thing, please? <laughs> Wait, what's, what's this? I see... Is this a door or something right here? Anyways, we're gonna go in here. Ooh, the kitchen. Could there be anything to eat here? Who knows? Right? Right? Okay, here we go. Let's take some stuff. You never know when you might need a butcher knife. Or a mouse pan. What is that? Take some pot. Frying pan? Is this a fryer? Take the jar. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm the kind of person that just has to check everything out. The door won't budge. Door won't budge. Nothing's in here. You close the cabinet. Nothing's in here, you close the cabinet. Okay, okay. So what's on this side of the room? How am I supposed to know there's a door over there? Must have been satisfied with small accommodations. You know what? We'll come back to this one. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. But we will go to the pantry, which I'm pretty sure is right here. Yes, it's the pantry. Okay. I think we're going to need the matches for sure. But you know me, we're going to take it all. Save us a trip later, maybe. Who knows? That looks more like a lamp now. That's a salt jar. Anybody got a salt jar, not a shaker, just a jar of salt? 
Anybody? Okay. Take the flower. Take the spatula. It's Spatula City! Come on down to Spatula City! Anybody in the comments tell me what that's a reference to? And you're my best friend. What have we got here? A rope? No, that was salami. That was salami. That was salami, folks. Just salami hanging up. Alright, here we go. We're going to examine and see what they call this. It's an old land. <laughs> okay. So we got the matches. We're back in the kitchen. Now we need to go to that other room. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if we can use these lamps. That'd be cool. You turn on the floor lamp. What? It seems that there is a book set inside the wall. Suddenly, a spirit covered in chains stands before you. He is warning you of three spirits that will visit on Christmas night. Oh, wait. That's not Marley. This is my room. Who let you in here? Oh, the door was open. My bad. Drakon must have sent you. You cannot have it. You cannot have my precious nipples ring. I mean, uh, I've hidden it. No, you must leave. Leave me in my precious nipple ring alone. Yes, all alone. My precious? Who is he, Gollum? <laughs> There's no way you would have known this back in the day, but this is how you get rid of this guy, and I am not shitting you. He is a ghost, right? The guy's a ghost. We're, we're all on the same thing here. He's a ghost. Oh my god. You will back and throw the unconscious spider at the ghost. The ghost shrieks at the sight of the stunned spider. <laughs> Flustered and frightened, the spirit dissolves from view. Yes, that just happened. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Let's let's take some stuff. Take the diary three, yes. Who knows, we might need a comb later. Brush, comb, whatever. What's this in the wall? Like, what is that? Take the cologne, okay. Um, let's open this. Alright, we're gonna open the diary. This diary reads, Please don't throw spiders at me, but the master would not or could not, so I have stolen Drakon Star. He is an evil soul, unlike the master. Is that a spider? Oh, oh, he uses his power for amusement and profit. Oh, it's an awake spider, that's okay. If it's an unconscious spider, do not get it around me. I don't want it around me if it's unconscious. It scares me. It's really, really scary when it's an uncanny spider. Stun spiders are the worst, okay? Stun spiders are the worst. Nothing like him in the whole world. He uses his power for amusement and profit. Well, he is a, a carnival uh, worker. He is not concerned with spiritual enlightenment. There is no compassion. With his power, I grow weak. I am dying. I have hidden the star in Master's special box. It never opens. It has no locks. Drakon Star never discerns. In fire, it freezes. In ice, it burns. Okay. So we're going to go back to the foyer, okay? Uh, so here we go. Let's see here. It's open. Can you let me move to it, though? Oh my god. Oh my god. Open and stuff should be the same option. <laughs> Open and move, unless it's locked, should work. Alright. 
So we're trying to get out back in the... Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Back in the foyer. Let's see here. Since we couldn't use an axe, I was thinking about using a knife. We need to save, by the way. Alright, so, uh, you... Ah! Hang on. You slice open the couch and find a key! And we take the key! Alright, we're on to something now! Here we go. Oh my god, I keep doing that. I'm so stupid. Now we need to go to that game room. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. We're gonna take the key that we just got. and use it on this locked door. Oh. Was it this one? Huh. Let's see here. Oh, I remember. We gotta use the uh, key on the cabinet. Is this it? There we go. Click! The cabinet is unlocked. Uh, we're going to take this gypsy doll. And I think we're supposed to use one of our spells now. Let's see here. The doll doll. Yep, I think that's it. You shouted doll doll as loudly as possible. A weird voice emerges from the doll's lips. Talk to my pious brother. He can help you find your sister, Andy. <laughs> Just kidding. He can help you find your sister. A word from him can open doors in high places. You memorize the magic words. All right. Here we go. The last part of episode one, episode two, part one, uh, before we uh, call it quits. We're going to go back up to the master's bedroom and get to another key we're going to need. Oh, I'm getting bad at this. I'm getting lost. There we go. I can't move upstairs. Let's use this key again. God, I've taken a lot of stuff, guys. Oh my god, we've taken a lot of stuff in this. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Even the salami. The salami that was just hanging. Alright, let's take all of this.
Now we're going to go downstairs to the foyer and use the matches. This guy's probably getting like winded at this point. I mean, he looked horrible, remember? How he looked in the mirror? At least Scarlett O'Hare is gone. Alright, let's see here. We gotta light the fireplace. I know that much. We got some matches earlier, if I remember. Let's see here. Where did they go? Matches, matches, who's got the matches? When the flame is put near the firewood, it starts burning. Holy shit, it's a miracle. Um, let's see here. Huh. Let's see here. Let's, let's use the master special box. Let's just burn it since you can't open it, right? That's what I say. I say just burn the damn thing. It's pointless. In the game right now. Throw it in here. When you throw the box in the fireplace, it burns up. Oh my god, this game is blowing my, my mind. Literally blowing my mind right now. Clouds of smoke billow from the fireplace. That's even blowing my mind more. Smoke billowed from a fire. The light reflects off of the star. With blinding radiance, we got the star. Hey now, we got the all-star. Gonna get her game on. Alright. It must have been in the box. No shit. No shit. Hey, it's like the one over here. They are cowboy fans, right? Alright. Alright, so we're gonna take the star. And, uh... We're going to leave. Hey, I remember this time. Let's go to the hunting room. Oh, hey, he's back. Do, 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 do. At least he's dancing. Should we tip him? I want to tip him. He's teasing me with it. I guess it's turning me on. Let's see here. Let's see what we can take out of here. Oh, I feel sorry for the animals. Of course I do. I'm me. I'm a nice guy. Hey, we took a cage. Can we take this thing? Oh, I can't take it. Can I take him? No. Can I take guns? Can I have guns? No. Can I have the deer? Well, fuck you then. Let's see how sorry we feel for him. The skin of this large jungle cat has been made into a throw rug. What a waste. Yeah, no, it could have been made into like ten coats. Or a hat or two. It's a large stuffed white bear. It would look better in the Antarctic. Yeah, but not enough people would be able to see how good of a stuffed job they did. This moose head is actually connected to its body, but what it did was run through the wall and got its head stuck. Alright. And we're going outside, folks, out of the house. You're in the backyard. In the distance, you can see three buildings. You should leave what you don't need here. Alright folks, this has been Slasher Librarian Presents Retro Horror Gaming Episode 2, Part 1. Uh, I'm going to be back very soon with Part 2, and we're going to find out exactly what we need to leave behind, uh, which buildings we need to go into, and what is in store for us uh, in our quest to defeat Dracon and find our sister. Our sister who ran off and left us in a burning car uh, for dead. A sister who somehow got into this house. 
you know, even though she didn't have the pendant. I digress. We're going to find out what happens next in this game that tortured me as a child and scared me for some reason. I uh, hope you're all enjoying this game so far. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this game so far, what you think of the series I'm doing here with the retro horror gaming, and if you're excited for this series to continue. So many horror games from the Nintendo, Atari, Super Nintendo, Genesis, PlayStation. Uh, so many we're going to cover here on this series, and I cannot wait to do it and have you all along for the ride. Like I said, I'll be back very soon with uh, Uninvited, which is episode two, and that'll be part two. Uh, very, very soon. Until then, this has been your friendly neighborhood slasher librarian saying thank you so much for watching, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you soon.